Oh dear, the Huns are in their trench. The artillery can't fire on them because we are too close to them. And we cannot throw a grenade far enough away. If only there was a rifle, I could shoot a grenade over there. Oh my gosh, there he is! Yes, yes, a gift from the Queen. Thank you, my Queen. Sorry I had to do that. <laughs> so, yeah, the SMLE grenade launcher. Now, um, shooting an actual grenade from a firearm is not a new thing. You actually see it, um, it with old flintlock firearms. You can actually see one in, um, Last of the Mohicans if you look close enough to the line battles that are going on. So, anyways, now this is your standard issue SMLE. So it's in 303 British, cock and close. If you, you know, handle an SMLE or a Lee Enfield, you, you know what it's like. Yeah. So anyways, they, this one doesn't have the magazine cutoff. A lot of them, uh, basically, England realized, oh, okay, well, it's kind of not really, we're really not even using it, so why should we even put it on there anymore? So they just got rid of it. And they also had like these sights on the side that you would lift up and basically make miniature artillery. So, yep. Um, yeah, now the grenade launcher variant. Now what they would do is they would take a, this can also shoot, you know, standard 303 British by the way. Um, they'd take a blank cartridge, they'd insert it into the firearm. Now. At first, what they did is they had a a uh, actual grenade basically on a stick. And they'd shove it down the end of the barrel, right into the barrel. And then they'd fire the blank cartridge. And then it would shoot out and, you know, hopefully hit go in your enemy trench. Now, then it started actually ripping up the inside of the barrel and taking the rifling off, so... They said, okay, let's put a cone over this and take a standard mill bomb grenade, put a flat part on the bottom of it, so that way we shove it down the cone, pull the pin, fire, fire it off with a blank cartridge, and it'll shoot right out. Which, that one actually worked. Now, um, they would end up ditching it for other styles of grenade, la grenade launchers. Like, if you look at the American grenade launcher, they basically took the uh, the, the uh, later Enfield rifles and kind of based it off that. Now anyways, the reason it's wire wrapped is because when they fired off, the blank cartridge has a lot of powder behind it, a lot of strength. So when they fire it off, it could actually crack the stock, so they put the wire wrapping on it so it wouldn't crack the stock. And you have this big lug on there. That's actually um, all your military rifles. Well, all, all rifles in a wooden stock have a little uh, wooden stop on it. But military rifles have a metal stop on it. That's so it won't break the rifle as easy. And you're going to fire a lot of rounds out of a military rifle. So anyways, they have a actual fat, bigger, bigger uh, stop on this one. So they can fire off these... Uh, overpowered cartridges. Well, blank cartridges to shoot out the grenades. Now, um, uh, the SMLE would continue production, even the, uh, even the grenade launcher variants. Now, um, the only people who really adopted the new one, I think it's called the number four, no, uh, number four mark three, Yeah, I feel. It has a rear aperture sight. Now, um, the only people that really produced that was England and Canada. The rest of the Commonwealth would actually still use SMLEs like Australia, New Zealand, and and uh, India. Now they'd switch to actually this uh, cock, this uh, cocking knob. So later with later infields. Now, anyways. I'm going to do a shooting video on this because I real I looked at it and there's only one shooting video out there. 
I forget who made it, but anyways. But yeah. Now actually this one actually isn't even blued, it's actually painted on. Which I thought that was cool. It has a really nice stain to it. And also it has these uh this number on it, one three four. And it also has this tag on it. Um I was told by uh when I bought it not to remove this, so Yep. So anyways Yep, this one is also made in 1918, by the way. I can't see the date on this one because of the paint. So, sorry about that. But anyways, so, hope you all enjoyed. Please like and subscribe, and I'll be sure to make another video. Bye.